interviews where as you know we're not concerned about how many followers you have it's all about bridging the gap oh. and introducing you to the next generation's leaders hey. tonight our instructors leaders and I'm just gonna say masters Lorena and Josh hey. I didn't even feel like going over all of the the, the credits is it was too much, and I usually forget anything after four. Any credits after four, I'm gonna forget and Good. look at you and be like, "What did you do again?" Because I ain't got it no more. So um, I want to open it up with just a little bit of background. Um, some of your credits. Oh, my, my, my teacher is Riehata from oh. Japan, mm. and yeah, um, I'm start. Dancing when I was five years old, and so okay. maybe thirteen. Yes, okay. I'm dancing. Yeah, so yeah, and um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm a member of Riha Tokyo, and along yes. with Kaita, or is yeah, Kaita? Yeah, and Ako okay. and Kaita, and yeah. Shout out Kaita, mm -hmm. we miss you. Come back. Never met you. <laughs> and I like freestyle. Yeah. So yeah. So, good. so I'm trying always paddle. Okay. Yeah, in Singapore and France and yeah. Yeah. So I want to try more something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Time. <laughs> 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 this is a, a slightly international. It's a little bit less international than Kaita's interview, but still international. There's an ESL going on. Oh. Oh! Cut! No, no, we're not gonna cut it. No, I'm he's just, cut. Like, we're I'm just gonna leer at him. Shame! <laughs> so, what are some of your credits and how long have you been dancing now? Um, <laughs> I've been dancing for, I think, seven years? Seven. Okay. Seven or, seven or eight. And I think the first... There's a whole K-pop song going on in the back. Um, <laughs> I might be racist. I don't know if it's K-pop. Um, might be J-pop. You never know. Um, I think the first job I booked was... It was acting, actually. Hmm. Like, remember the little Uncrustable sandwiches? Yes. Yeah, I, I still eat those. Me too. They're delicious. Yeah, I, that was the first The strawberry job one. <laughs> and now they make peanut butter and honey. What? Nah, I'm just a jelly guy, you know. Grape jelly or, or strawberry jelly? Great. Uh, like your shirt? Yep, yeah, it's that late show. Um, Grimace. But that was my first like, acting job. And then I think the first dance job was, because um, I'm from New Jersey, so yeah. like, there wasn't a lot to do besides like Sesame Street if you were a kid. Okay. So that's what I did, and I was like dancing on there, getting it. <laughs> um, and then that led me to doing the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with Sesame Street. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I did, I don't know how long ago, like how many credits. I don't do I'm, I'm just giving you the last No more story. than four. Okay, all right, so that was two. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then I did Mariah Carey's Christmas tree lighting at Rockefeller. Was that two years ago when she no. just walked off the stage? No, no, no. Oh. It was the one where her voice cracked. Um, um, so yeah, you know. Um, it was, I think, 20... 15? Yeah. No, that's such a lie. That's such, that was the biggest lie I've ever done in my life. Um, it was like 2012? Okay. 11? Yeah, and did that the... When she started to lose it. Yes, exactly. At New York. And then I got asked to be... Well, there was 14 kids, and then they took it down to four to go to the White House to do the White House tree lighting. Okay. And I got to do it again, and and I got to meet Obama. Yeah. So... That is, that's yeah. an accomplishment. I think I was probably like 10. No, I was like 8 or 9, so then... That's four. I'm like the same age as his kids. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're best friends, you know. We chopped it up. I feel like you're lying again. No, I am. 
But it was the confidence that mattered. Oh. So. It's partially true. That's a long interview already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the piece that you taught tonight mm -hmm. was... A very, um, I guess you could call it old school Busta Rhymes song now. Yes. Um, I remember that song literally from high school. Mm -hmm. I was 17 when that song came hey, out. Hey, that's me now. Exactly. So it's for me, it's kind of full circle. When you said make noise, it was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey. But um, the piece that you did, uh, I want to kind of go into what was your creative process and what led you to choosing that song? Okay, all right. Um... Okay, so we. Okay, how I don't know how did it start. We we met up. Uh, we were supposed to meet up at twelve. But I fell asleep, so we met up at two. <laughs> no, we met up at three because I woke up at two and I was like, oh yeah. my gosh, we're yeah. at twelve. <laughs> it was busy, did monsters. It was a lot, you know. Um, and then we met up at I think three, and. She's like, yeah, I have to go. I have to leave in like two hours because I gotta go to Kendra's. And I was like, oh dang, so we gotta make this up in like an hour and a half. And then we took an hour and a half to find the song. And then we made up like the first like two eights in fifteen minutes, and then she had to leave. But the way we found the song is, we were like, the last time we collabed, it was super like, uh, I wasn't gonna say twenty eighteen, but it was like a <laughs> more like uh, typical like this era right now to yeah. music like, mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> So then, I was like, I feel like we should, like... Yeah. One more time. Yeah, that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. So we did that, and then... Oh, you can edit that in if you want. So then this time, we were like, let's do, like, old school, so people know we're not just, like, like kids, you know, like, dancing to, like, kid music. Um, so I was like... I don't know, I always thought of Make Noise just because, like, that's how I dance. Like, I dance super, like, fast, and I'm like, I don't know how to stop because, like, when God tells me to go, I go type of thing. Oh. So we, like, I, like, Divine. we played a lot of old school songs, and then we were trying to think of a song that, like, hasn't been, like, done in a while. Yeah. Because there's a lot of songs that, like, are old, but people still do them. Yep. Like, so it's not, like, doesn't have the same meaning to it. So we went to Busta, and then we played um, all of When Disaster Strikes. We tried to figure that out, and then it was between like so hardcore, and like um, so hardcore, and then it was like uh, when disaster strikes, and we were like, ah. and then we played, I played twerk it, I don't remember that song, yes. and I was like, yo, I forgot about that song, and I was like, we should do that, but I was like, that's like so much, so, and then we went back to um, touch it, and then um, get down, and then you landed on anarchy, and we landed on anarchy. And that's the only song I have. I'm so sad. That's the only song I have. But it was, it was meant for a reason. Because if we did, if that wasn't the only song, I feel like we would have been looking for the rest of the hour. But I picked that one. And then I played it for her. And she was like, yeah. And then we were like, okay, now let's go back to like all the choices we had. So we had like eight songs. Mm -hmm. And this is all in the, like we had like ten minutes left before she had to go. And we were like, okay. Um, uh, like, so we landed on um, Make Noise. Yeah. And we were like, okay, this is the one. And then we just started going from there. And the way we, we do it, it's easier if we just, like, instead of trying to go move by move, it's easier if, like, we just do two eights and two eights. And then we just try and make it blend together so it looks like one piece. Okay. But you can still tell who's who. Okay. Got it. Got yeah. it. I'm mm. doing a lot of talking. You want yeah, to talk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm <laughs> fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Understood. Okay, so... How long have you all been collaborating on pieces, or has it just been, this is just something that's kind of, it's been roundabout because you're in the same area? Yeah, this is our, this is our second time yeah. ever collabing, and it started... Singapore? Yeah, we met in Singapore at Summer Jam, mm -hmm. okay. and we were just like, oh, we're so good, oh my god, like, yeah. And then we didn't, get a chance to, <laughs> we didn't get a chance to do anything because we had, like, different schedules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just got, like, see each other in class and be like, oh, my God, you did so good in last class. Just like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> um, so then she came, um, Rie brought her out here for um, to do some Steezy tutorials. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. Or she asked, she was like, yeah, like, Snowball hit me up to, like, do a workshop. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, we're going to do it right now. And then we met up at my friend's place and we, like, used the studio. And then we just, like, we vibed so fast. Like, I never made up a piece so fast. Like, we made it up in probably, like, an hour. Mm -hmm. And all we were right. just like, all right, that's it. 
and we didn't look back at anything and we just felt it felt natural and it felt good so we were just like let's just leave it on the floor yeah and then we taught that and then people really like we got a really good response of us dancing together yeah. even with um i know melvin and Rie taught like yeah. two days before we taught and they liked how we danced together and that so people just like watching us dance together so yeah. it just turned out to before they liked us dancing together we liked dancing together yeah so it was like an equal thing and we were just like let's just keep dancing together we're not about to go on like world of dance or nothing but like <laughs> hey, maybe. Hey, to it's you. it's that synergistic vibe. But yeah, we just have understood. we understand each other. Yeah. 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 So now, when you keep you you bring up um, Ray Hata and um, her foundation is really, really, really strong. Mm -hmm. um, how is it working with some with such a strong foundation, mm -hmm. and how is it? How is it translating to your dance style? Oh, um, she style is very strong and mm -hmm. like groove. Yeah. Yeah, I really like she style. Yeah. And um, I practice every every day. It's basic isolation and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm. I like um. Hoping twice. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Uh, um. Rie teach me some grooves. Yeah. And then, I I run from kite, you know. Yeah. Hoping kite. Yes. Yeah, my teacher is hoping, and yes. Yeah, so, like. Tie it together. Yeah. yeah and then my style. Okay. Yeah. I understood. Like understood. Mm -hmm. Mom, dad. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So then, what exactly would you say is your foundation? Where does it come from? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I really be looking at everybody I take. Like, I, I don't know what. I, I don't know how I ended up doing what I did. I know that I definitely was a different dancer after meeting Melvin. I mm -hmm. him. And Shout out Melvin. Yeah, you, know. you didn't come to to uh, BZX this year, but that's all right. Oh, Mikey got y'all. Hey, should I call him up? Talk about it first. <laughs> Stay booked, man. Um, <laughs> gotta pay the bills, you know. Exactly. Um, but the story of me meeting him is way too long. But Understood. after after meeting him, and I don't know, me just adapting to his style. Yeah. I don't know his classes. Not that they're easy, but like I just understand. Yeah. We have like the same musicality yes. and ear. Yes. So that's why when I as I make up choreo it's easier to think of like hmm like what am I trying to say? Let me go back. So what I was saying was <laughs> <laughs> after me Melvin it made dance easier because Melvin's style is kind of like because he grew up at Chapkiss and Chapkiss brought in all the like great choreographers yep. ever. And he learned all that, but his style is all that. So me learning him makes everyone else easier. Does that make sense? Yes. There you go. It's a foundation. Yeah. Melvin is very, very rooted in foundation as yeah, well. Yeah, it's kind of like, like he has, I don't know, like he brings every like a little bit of everybody in his own style, but he still has his own. He does. So it's like if he does this. Okay, I know Lau's gonna do this, so I know how to finesse it the way that like Lau would, or like yeah. Vin, Anthony, like even we do something like this and. Our, like second episode and then like Anthony did that in the class and I just was like oh like this just everything makes sense now it's like yeah he was like a life hack <laughs> instead of like going like through the struggles of like I'm like I, if you just learn if you just be around Melvin everything else is easier so Melvin definitely was like a big help and then also Feel like cheated. Josh Williams or Taiwan my bad <laughs> Taiwan and then Tucker was a big mentor of mine Tucker Barkley Ian Eastwood Fifi and Tony Zara, those are probably like my, and Larkin too. Yeah. Those are all like my biggest like mentors right now. Okay. And, I don't know, I just, all that, I, it's weird because I don't really do any of their movement. Exactly. But I just, I don't know, I just understand, I understand if I, if I think like them, I can just be me still. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know if that made any sense, but I felt confident about it, so. It does, because, um, that Dietrich, makes sense. Sense. Dietrich's actually said that he, he got as successful as he is by 
getting into the minds of the people that were successful around him and go. just dealing what they were doing and making it him. So yeah. he's successful by theft, there according to him. I'm not. That's he not just me. said, just, do just do steal it and you know make it, and it's yours and you'll get the accolade. No, I, I, that's, I'm paraphrasing. That's not what Dietrich said. <laughs> it's like, and you're black. I'm like, oh, black guy stealing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, 2019. <laughs> you call it. You see, she gets it like. It's yeah. like. <laughs> All right, uh, well, um, being that you all are as young as you are, how does it feel to have uh, the impact that you have on dance culture right now? How does it feel having full classes, people that are trying to come and learn what you created? Uh, I like um, America dance culture yeah. and also Japan, but um, different is like Japanese is so shy mm -hmm. people. So um, until they dance, yeah. When I took class, um, nobody say um, yeah yeah. Yeah. But nobody in here, shoes. yeah, in here, <laughs> everybody some like energy and yeah. power and yeah so I really like America's culture so yeah. I wanna um, like I wanna into in Japan yeah. this culture. Bring the culture mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah just start throwing your shoe at people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you imagine if you know that people would be if you just throw would be so <laughs> yeah. Again, everyone, throwing your shoe at your choreographer or at whoever is dancing is a sign of respect originated in the community class, not world of dance. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I couldn't, I couldn't do it all the way. <laughs> <He> didn't. <laughs> so, so then, where do you see your careers going in the next, I won't even say five, in the next two to three years, where do you see your career? Uh, f I, I think I just see myself, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say like finding out who I am, but hopefully finding out who I am because people are like, oh, I still don't know who I am. It takes time, it comes with wisdom, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know, I feel like it's different for everybody. Okay. But I feel like I'm finding myself now and then hopefully by then I can like truly find out who I, not who I am as a person, but how I am as a dancer and then I can figure out um, a better way to spread my knowledge okay. across the world, you know, if y'all want to book me. Booking Josh Price at gmail.com. <laughs> you know, trying to go to Dubai in the next two years. So. But yeah, I think yeah. Once I figure out yeah. my um, how to teach, yeah, it will be a lot easier to me to just like I don't know, talk more and not be afraid of what I know and how I truly feel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have like dream, but mm. I want to just like. Make people happy and yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I can appreciate. It. Nice. I can appreciate. That. <laughs> if you had to be one anime character, it's gonna be difficult for you. <laughs> one anime character and dance against Melvin, mm -hmm. okay. battling. Do anime same, characters and battling. dancing against Ray. Against in a battle for championship, mm -hmm. who would you be? I have to be an anime character yep. to battle against Melvin. Just yep. to be an anime character to, to battle against Ray. Yep. Um. Um. <laughs> um. What's his name? Uh, he says. Ah. <laughs> it's like every anime. Are you speaking of Goku? <laughs> yes. Or Vegeta? What's the name? Who's the guy that looks like XXX? You know the picture? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he has like the, he's 
like purple. What's his name? Um, Dang. <laughs> she knows his name. Because I'm culture. Asian? This is your culture. <laughs> <laughs> um, Goku, because I got the hair. Do you know Naruto? Yes, Naruto. Sakura. Yes. Pink hair. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. She's so cool. Sakura is yeah. strong as all hell. Yeah. Spell, sak- spell it. S A K U R A. That's wrong. Sakura. 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 Thank you very, very much for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. sharing your time. Anytime. Thank you, Thank you for so sharing much. your energy. Thank you for sharing your talent. And please come back. Hey. Yes. Please do. Follow <laughs> official Josh Price. Follow Lorena. I said Reina like it was Spanish. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Reina, Reina <laughs> underscore Queen Me. What is your last name? Kaneko. <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> follow at Boogie Zone. Follow at Boogie Zone Utopia. Check out the community class.com. I am feeling more really though. We out.